Hey guys, it's Ray. Welcome to another video. Today I am building a sorority house because um, I am building this for another one of Kate Emerald's um, build competitions in her Discord. And this time the theme was school. So I really didn't know what I was going to do at first. I was, I didn't really want to build a school. Like the thing is in Sims, you know, you can't have functional schools unless you, you know, install a mod or something like that. Um, so all the schools are rabbit holes, so I didn't really want to build like an actual school because it wouldn't have been used in the same type of way. So what I did is I ended up making a housing, a uh, sorority house for students. So like it still goes along the school theme, but it's not a school. And um, you can basically go around any school related theme that you want to. So like you don't have to build a school. You could build dorms. You could build like I did a sorority house, you could build like a sort of like fancy academy, something like that. So I, I definitely went creative with this one because I didn't want to just be building like an old school building. Like that just didn't seem that interesting to me. And I really, really wanted to build in this um, Discover University style. I love the, all the windows that the pack comes with. And it just, it's like, I love it so much. Like the windows and just like the way, the style of the buildings and that fencing that comes with it. It's just so beautiful to me so I knew right away that when I was going to build a sorority house it was going to be in this style and I knew that for this build I wanted to do it only base game and discover university so I do not use all my packs for this I only use the base game and discover university which I think is pretty impressive for me you'll see a lot of times I play something and then I ended up <laughs> deleting it because I realized oh no that's not base game or discover university um, because it's just kind of like you know habit for me so like I'm used to putting the things down like my usual things that I have in the kitchen and then in the bathroom and whatever, but I end up like having to go around and deleting a lot of those things, which really made me um, realize how lucky I am to have all these objects. Like, I don't understand how I <laughs> went with the base game for so long, so um, it's really, I'm really lucky to have all these items, but it is hard without all these packs, so um, it definitely was sort of a challenge, but um, I still had a lot of fun doing it. And this house, it ends up being nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms exactly. Um, each bedroom has an ensuite and um, each, I think uh, most of the bedrooms have two beds each, two twin beds, kind of like dorm style. And then I think three of them have just one double bed, so meant for one sim. But um, you can basically fit however many sims you want into this house. You know, it doesn't have to be just a sorority house, but I did make it very pink. like. I, I mean, obviously not like all sororities are pink, but I was just really going with like the girly vibe and I don't know, I just kind of um, wanted to kind of include a lot of pink in there. I don't usually build colorful houses that much, like colorful interiors. I usually keep it like toned down to sort of neutral colors um, and not too bright. So I really had a lot of fun changing that up a little bit. Um, so that was definitely something cool that I think I did a little bit differently and I originally was just going to build this like a normal house on a normal lot, but then I ended up adding like a little bit of a street in front of it because I wanted to make it seem like it was more like in the city um, because I wanted there to be like a little bus stop in front of it. Like, you know, it's close to downtown near the university or whatever. Um, and, you know, it's just kind of like along a busy street. Um, so I did try to give it that more of a vibe, but obviously it's not going to work completely because this lot is a lot in Delso Valley and it's like up in the hills above the uh, city. So from the background, it doesn't look exactly like where I would like it to be, but I think I fit um, the front of it. Um, I kind of made it fit into um, the world that it would possibly exist in. Unfortunately, I couldn't place this in Brightchester because there weren't any lots big enough, but that originally would have been my plan. But this, I think it's on 50 by 40 lot possibly, I'm pretty sure. So you could basically place this on any 50 by 40 lot. Um, and you know, you don't need uh, all the packs or anything to have this you just need base game and discover university and then you're all set um and i think this is like the first time i've tried limiting my packs in building before and it was kind of something fun like i don't think i would do it all the time but it is something that i enjoy doing and i think that i would think about doing again in the future maybe not the very near future but sometime in the near future and um as you can see i just placed a little omega symbol um, on the top there um I want I knew I wanted to do, do this pattern with the lights because I've seen other builders who create like Starbucks patterns and just like other like brand images so that they can make like other um 
like shapes in the game that like you know you normally wouldn't be able to make unless you had cc or something so i decided to go with that and i really wanted to make it like scream this is like sorority this is greek life so i just thought like okay what greek letter can i put up above there and i was like omega is pretty easy it's basically just circle with a little bit of a you know two little um sticks coming out of it on the bottom <laughs> so i did decide to go for that and i thought that was kind of cool and it lights up at night which i think looks pretty cool and i decided to give a lot of like living areas because considering there are a lot of girls that could live here I wanted to have a bunch of living areas and a big dining table I have two dining tables actually um and a few like little bar setups and then a little pool of course and then there's also like a ping pong table and some like juice keggers around so um you know assuming that like you know there are parties going on here and stuff I wanted to kind of make it seem like realistic like you know it's not the neatest house ever but um I didn't totally trash it like honestly if I was doing a fraternity I might have trashed it a little bit more but I tried to keep it a little classy because you know I imagine like these sims like you know they still like to live um in like nice houses like they don't want to totally trash their house even though they might be like partying and like busy studying all the time but you know I wanted to give them a still a nice house especially because like so many sorority houses are just beautiful on the outside like before building this I researched some sorority houses to get inspiration and I like searched like best sorority houses and oh my goodness you guys things that popped up like blew my mind there are so many beautiful sporty houses out there that are so fancy and I'm like wow and just like students are living in this like it was crazy so I really wanted to like kind of have that like elegant vibe like you wouldn't expect a bunch of students to be living here but um I imagine that you know this sorority like the um sisters you know they kind of take care of um the way the house looks and you know they don't want to trash it they want to make it uh, keep it looking nice and all that so just to keep up that you know um facade of like everything's perfect in here so I kind of decorate it with like some super like um, lush landscaping and I just try to go like super polished and clean other than like the ivy on the wall. So like you can tell this building is old, but it's definitely well kept up. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know if you like me doing builds in this style because I know I don't always build in this style. Sometimes I'll go for modern builds. Sometimes I'll just go for like normal like family type of houses. But this is kind of a different style than I built in at least in a while. So let me know if you liked it and any if you have any other suggestions of any videos that you would like me to make or any other build that you'd like me to do. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Oh, 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 oh,